All right, what do I got again? Okay, we got a box of cooked bow ties. I went ahead and cooked them before mm -hmm. we... Well, that one don't want to go. There it goes. There we go. <clears throat> Two cups of rotisserie chicken. Mm-hmm. We got a big bowl here. We're just going to combine everything for supper. One cup of the shaved Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Yum. A half a cup of bacon bits. Now, I'm going to mix that up a little bit before we get any more so we don't get too much in it and not be able to stir it up. And did we say the bow tie pasta was chilled? Yes, it's cold. You always yep. rinse when you're mixing in a salad like this. Because mm -hmm. you don't want the salad to wilt. No. Then we're going to take two cups of romaine lettuce. Mm, we're using this kind, market side leafy romaine. Okay, got it in there. Now we're going to take a bag, five ounce bag of these Caesar croutons. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Whoa. A lot of noises in the kitchen yeah. today. This would be a nice little pasta salad mm -hmm. with our dinner, our chicken maybe. Okay, now you're gonna take a, any creamy Caesar, it don't have to be this brand, but any 12 ounces of it. This is a 16, so we won't need all Gosh, of it. Gosh, that's a lot of dressing no matter yeah. what, right? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, you can use it. However, you can add however much yeah. you want. And I think you probably need to put some then toss it. Mm -hmm. And see where we're at. Yes, yeah, that way you want Get it too. What's your favorite kind of salad dressing? I like ranch or Thousand Island. Mm. I don't like all ranches. So not, that's probably enough in that one. That's looking good. Oh yeah, good. that looks really good. A couple pounds of ground beef. We're going to brown up. Oh, the meat looks nice and brown. Okay, now we're going to add four chopped jalapenos. Mm -hmm. Or jalapenos, as my mom would say. Yes, and about a medium onion. Okay. I'm gonna let that simmer on here for a few minutes. All right, looks good. Okay, we're gonna have this set aside while we make the batter. Mm. Okay, we're going to take one can of cream style corn, mm -hmm. dump that in a bowl with one cup of whole milk. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of vegetable oil and two eggs. We're gonna combine this all first. Now, now we're gonna add one cup of self-rising cornmeal, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're gonna combine all this up. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take half of this batter, pour it in a nine by 13 grease casserole dish. So we're gonna take this, do half in here. Make this a little bit more, mm -hmm. okay. Now you're going to take cheddar cheese, Mm -hmm. I've got four cups here. We're gonna put two cups on now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to take your hamburger mixture and add it next. All of it? All of it. Mm. All right, I can just turn it over. That is oil. Now we did two pounds of meat, but you can do one. Yes, or... you can use one, but we thought we might just have some good old meat in here. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, once you've got the meat on there mm -hmm. with your jalapenos and onions, you're gonna take your other two cups of cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. put it on there. Four cups of cheese on the recipe. Dang, that looks good. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna do, pat it down a bit, you're gonna add the remaining of your batter mm -hmm. on top. Mm 
Okay, we'll take our spatula. Get it all get scooped all out. The, out of there. And spread it out. Now this will have to cook for about an hour mm -hmm. on 350. But then you'll have a good casserole for dinner tonight. Looks good. Let's That's try a good. bite of this. Okay, let's try here. Sure. Oh, it comes out perfectly. Oh, look at that melted cheese. Mm, and the jalapenos in there. Mm -hmm. Got her, Kim. Okay, we got some peony pasta. We're gonna pour it in our dish. Wow. And then two cups of water. These are just some one dump meals. Mm hmm And then we're going to take some pepperoni. Five ounce package. Well, you just can dump, dump it in there, but not quite like that. Mm-hmm. Well, if we can get it out, man, that thing's tough to get out, ain't it? It is, huh? Well, well my hands. Okay, then you're just gonna... Kind of spread that out? Spread that out. That's quite a few pepperonis. Mm-hmm. Okay, then we're gonna take a bag of meatballs. Mm-hmm. Italian style. And our pan is loading up. It is loading up quick. It so is. we got the peony pasta and the meatballs. Okay, then we're gonna take two jars of the chunky ragu sauce. Interesting, okay. And mix it together. We did put a pan underneath this pan. Just so. in case it like overflows. Yes, well, this is just a uh, heavy. Yeah. You've got a lot of ingredients. Any certain way you're supposed to pour this or are you just kind of dumping no, it? No, I'm just, you're dumping it. No, there's no special way. Now I'm going to take some Italian seasoning and dust it on top. Jeez. And some crushed red pepper. My favorite. I love a little spice. Okay, now you just take a spoon or whatever mm -hmm. you have. You just kind of mix it up just a little bit. It doesn't need a whole lot. Just to kind of get stuff coated in there. Jesus. Mm. Don't ask me to read all these cheese names. Because That's all of those right there. It's a little hard for me. Oh, this is some finely shredded. It's mm -hmm. nice. This is nice cheese. Then we're going to bake it at 350 for 55 minutes. Wowzers. Kim. Look at them that balls. Is. You got, this is the one with the balls and the peony pasta, right? And the pepperonis, yes. Yes. All right, let's get us a little bite. Look at that cheesy goodness. <gasps> wow. Okay. It's good and hot. It's good and hot. I got the cheese all melted nice. Got us a meatball. Mm. Holy <laughs> macaroni. That is hot. Take your time. Actually, pretty good. Cans of Rotel sauce. Oh, boy. Just throw them down in the bowl. Uh-huh. Okay, one cup of chicken broth. Okay. Every I think every recipe has to have chicken broth. Low sodium? Yes. <laughs> Tablespoon of chili powder. Or what do they call that? Healthy request? Yes, we don't buy another diet. That's gross. No, that, is, that is nasty. Uh, teaspoon of... Cumin or cumin? It's whatever. C-U-M-I-N is All what right. it is. I can spell. I know that. I might mm -hmm. not can say. Then I've got a uh, half teaspoon of salt, four teaspoon of pepper. But chili powder strong, so mm -hmm. just kind of mix your seasons in with your rotel. Yeah. Three cups of our shredded chicken, where I boiled the breast earlier and... Uh -huh. Got them all shredded up. Now I can boil your breasts or do whatever you want. Then we want a jar of black beans, but we did drain them and rinse them before I got them in the bowl. A bag of frozen corn, and I just picked up the gold and white. It doesn't matter, it can be all yellow. Make sure to chew your corn well, because it's hard to digest. Then you're gonna put in 12 corn tortillas that you've quartered. 
I've already got them quartered. Oh, this so. is uh, <laughs> this is an interesting it's a recipe. Bit, I, I just found this. So now we're gonna combine all this together. You, let's just add, we got a little bit more chicken broth here. Let's add just, a little bit more. Yeah, let's just put that in there so we don't want no dry. Uh-uh, we don't. Now, we also we have to have um, Monterey Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. You need half of it in here now. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put half of it. The rest we're gonna save for the top. Mm. Okay, so now that we got that, now that's better. Good, let's dump okay, it. Right now you're just gonna take your nine by 13 greased right casserole here. and you're gonna dump it literally in here. Oh, oh it's, like it's kind of heavy. Heavy and it's, there's a lot of stuff. There is, I might have to, but. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> okay, well, we don't wanna leave any of our grease, especially mm -hmm. not our liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. We're gonna bake this for 25 minutes, then we'll put our ch cheese on the top and Let's bake it a little bit. Okay, now do cover it with aluminum foil because you don't want your tortillas getting too toasty. Okay. Okay, we've cooked this for 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna pull it out a little bit, remove our aluminum foil. Oh, don't look bad. Now we're gonna put the other half of the my jack cheese on top and cook it for 10 minutes. Make sure you don't burn yourself, folks. We're just gonna leave that right there. No, we're not. No, we're not. Don't burn your hand, Kim. I'm not. We got enough liquid, but I believe, look at it. Look at that, that's great. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. Fabulous. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Yeah. We'll let it cool a second and then we'll dig in. It's tortilla, Kim. Or tortilla, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We're going to say tortilla. Okay. Blow on that. Oh, Kim. Dink. You know, it's good. I don't know if I like that soggy to corn tortillas. Mm -hmm. The hamburger meat that we're going to brown. Oh, wow. Get this all browned up for some easy lasagna. Oh, nice. Okay, now we're gonna add a 24 ounce of Prego. And let that heat thoroughly. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the bar and we're gonna pour half of this into our nine by 13 dish. Mm. Don't let me slop it on you. You're gonna take lasagna noodles, unbaked, mm. what it said, and you're gonna lay three of them down. That's about the size of the... Then you're gonna take your ricotta cheese. Looks kinda of like pudding. You're gonna take half, half of your ricotta. We're gonna put it on our noodles. Well, wow, it looks really good. Well, you know, I've never used this. Um, how do you, how, y'all, how do you, uh, how do you spread this junk? It looks so thick. It is, but we're gonna spread it with this. Okay, yeah. We're, we're gonna That's good, this yeah, spread this, this thing done. good. We're gonna get this done. We're not gonna let it beat us. Nope, get that. Now you're going to take mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella? Mozzarella. And you're gonna put about a cup on there. So okay. about half of this half bag. The thing. And this is our, these are easy lasagna we're making? That's what it said, easy right. lasagna. Now you've got that. Now you're gonna put Another three noodle. more down. One, two, I can count. three. I can count too, that was three. Mm-hmm. Now back to the ricotta cheese. Just dump that whole thing in there, Kim. You get the whole thing, just dump that thing. Yeah, there you go. These people are like, I'm ready to see this thing done. They want to see it. They I'm ready to taste it. Cooked. Yeah. Listen, I'm ready to taste it. How long are we doing this in the oven for? Um, I'll have to check on that. Okay. Gotta, 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 got to go. got my head. Okay, now I think got that ricotta dam. Now you're going to take and... Dump the rest? Of the mozzarella cheese. Oh, mozzarella? Mm-hmm. So two cups of mozzarella. Yes, two cups of mozzarella cheese. Now, you're going to take the rest of your mixture. Mm. And now we're gonna put it up here. 
Doesn't matter if it gets on the handle a little bit. We don't care. No, I wash everything good. Did you drain and wash your meat? I didn't wash the hamburger meat, no. Okay, well, people might be asking. I'm just saying. Yeah, I didn't wash hamburger meat. So now you just get that put over there. And we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. Uh-huh, and then, and then put it in the oven for how long did you say? We are going to bake it at, for about 45 minutes. Now let's thin this paper. Watch out for the paparooskies. Turn around the other way. Okay, we're gonna put in 45, watch out, Brad. 45 minutes? Yes. Then we're gonna top it with probably some Parmesan. Parmesan? Watch out, Brad. This is hot. Hey, bud. Here is our wow. easy, peasy, Lasagna. Do we need to let it cool? Yes, I would let it cool so it can set a little bit. Smells delicious. Smells good. Y'all smell that? Yeah. Okay, let's, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Get the dish over here. Oh, look at that. Look at that ricotta. Yeah. That looks nice. That does look nice. I'll probably have to have some of this. Let's stuff it hot and we let it.